Welcome. What we're going to do now is see how we can install a image or photo gallery into a page or post in Publii. And what we need to do is first prepare our images in the folder so it will be easily to upload. You need to resize all your images in a photo editor. And you also need to compress or optim optimize your images so it won't hinder your page loading speed. Now as I touched on earlier in this video that we need to optimize and compress our images for best performance on any website. And here are two online, three online tools that you can use to compress and optimize JPEGs. It's called Optimazilla, very simple to use. And if you're using a PNG or a PNG images, there's compressed PMG available for you online also. I'd like to touch on another new and upcoming image format called WebP. And we're looking at the developer Google website and explains more about WebP format that you can use even today it's superior lossless and lossy compression is 26 percent smaller pngs and 25 to 35 34 percent smaller jpegs you can read it's a short article and support by all the major browsers and if you go down to the bottom you can download the webp converter software that you can use to convert your images to WebP. So I hope this helps. So let's try this out. I created a test page in Publi titled Image Gallery. Using the WinniSig editor or the What You See is What You Get editor. You have an icon to insert a single image and right next to an icon to insert a gallery. So let's click on the gallery and the image uploader appears where it says add images and I click on it and I am open up a box that I pre-created with six images of equal size which I'm going to tag all and upload right now wait for it to load and then what we're going to do is fill in the alt text it's very important that you do this for two reasons one for accessibility purposes and for the second reason is for SEO reasons so do not leave it blank you can leave the image caption text blank for now which I'm going to do and you have a choice at the bottom here for your layout I'm going to leave the three columns and I'm going to leave alignment that's centered. As you can see, you can also add images in the future. So let's hit OK. And this is how the gallery looks. So let's go preview this in the browser right now. Okay, this is the post, the test post page. And I'm looking at it in Firefox. You can see it has a light box effect for each image take a quick look go through the six images that I loaded so it's very simple but it's very effective Publi uses a gallery called photo swipe which is a JavaScript gallery that requires no dependencies now let's see how this would work responsively Let's try looking at uh, simulate a tablet and a phone. So let's drag the brow Firefox browser down to about the size of a tablet. And let's go further to approximate size of a phone. Now let's stay here and let's click on the image. And this is how full image will appear on your mobile device, your phone. Let's go to about a tablet, iPad size, all approximate. As you can see, everything works well. So let's go back to full desktop and this is how it 
will render in the, the browser. Now let's take a look at the HTML for those who are interested. Let's take a look at uh, how what CSS we are using a class of gallery. And as you look at these six images that we uploaded, we have the full size image and thumbnails all resize automatically. We have our alt text, alt text as I typed in. Not, you know, basically fairly simple and works well. So let's take a deeper dive into how these image gallery images are set up now. For those who like to go deeper under the hood of Publii, you can adjust the thumbnails of your gallery images. And here is a sample from the config.json file, the gallery images section where you can change the size of your thumbnails if you so desire to do so. Now lazy load is by default already enabled, especially if you have tons or lots of images in your gallery so your performance of your website will be not be affected with all these images trying to load at the same time and you have options to ins change the style of your lazy load as you can see here and as as i said earlier a lot of this information i'm showing you is for advanced users so but it is available so i just wanted to touch on this at this point. So in conclusion, the image gallery that comes out of the box in Publii works just great as it is. I really don't think you need to try anything else. It does the job sufficiently. As you can see here, as we look at the sample photos in this particular gallery on this web post let's squeeze it down to a phone view and as you can see it's very responsive so I think the gallery works very well so thank you for watching and hopefully there'll be more tutorials coming down the road in the very near future